Hello and welcome. This is Virendra Tiwari. Today I'm going to use a simple example and I'm going to demonstrate two different problem solving approaches. One is the force balance, the second is the energy balance. Now, our example problem involves a falling block connected by a string to a rotating pulley. Now, this particular example I have picked up because this is simple and we can learn two different approaches. Now, the aim of this video is to discuss problem solving approach and throw a very simple example. However, if you have both of these approaches, you can select one of them depending upon the type of problem. So to be a champion problem solver, you need to have both of these skills in your arsenal. So let's follow the first approach. We have this beautiful diagram. And then we first make free body diagram. The free body diagram for a falling block, we can make in this manner. The weight is acting downwards. There is a tension upward. And we have taken the direction positive that is towards the ground because all the action is happening towards the ground. And the choice of coordinate system is personal. So here, based on the first block, we have the first equation. Okay, so each free body diagram should give you one equation. The second free body diagram we have made for the disk. Now this disk, is going to revolve around its axis. It has a mass m, so it is going to rotate with an angular acceleration, and angular acceleration is given by a upon all right. So the equation for the rotation of this disk can be written as torque. The torque is the tension which is applied downwards times the perpendicular arm, that is R, is equal to I alpha. Now, I is the moment of inertia and it is responsible for the inertia of rotation. So, if we rewrite this equation, tension times the perpendicular distance is equal to mr square by 2, the moment of inertia of the disk, times the alpha. Alpha we can write from here. We get our tension as n a by. Now, let's plug in this value inside equation 1. ng minus m a by 2. And this is equal to m a. So from this, we can clearly see a is equal to m divided by m plus m by 2 multiplied with g. All right, so you can clearly write our tension is equal to capital M into A by 2. So let's rewrite it. So we have got both of these answers. Now, here, this side, we are going to use energy balance approach. Now, in order to consider the energy balance approach, again, the action is happening downwards. So we are going to take everything downwards positive. And now, what we are going to do is we are going to write total energy of this system. Now we will take this, the ground, as a reference. And we will assume this block is at a high edge. So we can write the total energy as a combination of potential energy. Potential energy, you can see, of the block is minus mg. All right, because our reference downwards is the positive. While we are measuring the height, 
edge upwards. And then we take care of the kinetic energy M V square by V. Suppose at any given moment this block is moving with a velocity V. It's accelerating downwards with an acceleration A. And then we have another kinetic energy due to rotation. The rotational kinetic energy of this pulley. Now pulley is a disc, so we have the moment of inertia mR squared by 2 times omega squared divided by 2. So this is I omega squared by 2. Now if we have the total energy, what we can do is we can just take derivative of the total energy because total energy is always conserved. So we know the derivative of total energy is going to be constant with respect to time. Okay. So this is to say energy is conserved and we only have gravitational potential energy and the kinetic energy. So let's rewrite mg dh by dt. Okay, and there is a minus sign because there was a minus sign plus twice mv dv by dt. There is a T plus the derivative here will involve again MR square by 2, the old term, and then the derivative of this omega will get omega and we get D omega by okay, and there is a factor of D. Now, this thing is going to go to zero. Okay. Mg into V. There is a minus sign here. Plus Mv. Now dv by dt is A. Plus. Now this term we can write mr square by 2 omega times this is alpha alpha is rate of change of angular velocity now this everything will go to so now let's use the expression for omega is equal to v upon r and alpha is equal to a upon r. If we introduce these values, what do we get? Minus mgv plus mva plus m r square by 2. And then we have omega is equal to v upon r. And we have alpha is equal to A upon R. All right, now this thing is going to go to zero and we see if we can get rid of velocity. So we have minus mg plus ma plus m by now this is going to go to zero. So you can see we have again obtained the same acceleration. This is m divided by m plus m by 2 times g. So we have recovered an exact expression of the acceleration. So thanks a lot for your attention. If you like more such examples, please feel free to like and subscribe our channel. Have a great day.